Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be starting the DLCs for Final Fantasy 16. I will be playing both the Echoes of the Fallen and the Rising Tide DLC. If you guys didn't catch my playthrough of the base game, you can see it on this channel. And if you guys are ready, let's first start with Echoes of the Fallen. I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. Hope you'll enjoy this episode and this playthrough of these DLCs. And see you guys in the comments. All right, let's begin. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up while you can. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, some has come to my attention. And I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They call in them dusk crystals, on account of color. I see. And they can be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is... They don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. From crystal traders moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Feel that, Clive? Uh, yes. no. Feel what? <laughs> the whole building shaking. Do you feel that? Is it just me? Meanwhile. The Imperial Fringes. Sorry, I'm blocking the text, but I will read it for you guys. All right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Please tell us you bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a London when you've got one of these? for a single spark. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. Dragon? That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run? What? <laughs> That's We're not how the saying goes. <laughs> oh. 
my. What is this? Whoa, what a title card. Dang. Is it like a giant spider thing? That doesn't look like a dragon. I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. But then, I've never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Sorry about that. Do you that. think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color. They couldn't be from origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw a form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from origin or any of the other mother crystals, then. Does that mean. That you missed one? Aye. That were my thinking, any road. Another mother crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Yeah, get the old right team again. back together. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Hey! Ah, it's gonna be good to see the old gang again. Let's go see our little brother. <gasps> Eon's here. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye. That is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dust crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Uh, wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, 
our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power, and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. A pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then? Brother. I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. Yes, please. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. One more time together. Oh, let's check out our... How do you do again? Wait, hold on. Let me see. Ah, there it is. Active time echoes. Entries for the echoes of the fallen will now appear in ATL. If you don't recognize a term or wish to know more about, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yay. Okay. Dusk crystals. Shadowy shards that can be used to cast magics just like any other crystal, but are far less resilient. Cracking only after a few uses. They appeared on the black market soon after the skies darkened, and it was from here that Karen obtained her sample. Port is old. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily new stuff, but I'm going to read it anyways because it looks like it says there was something new. Uh, a port city situated on the southwestern continent of a uh, southwestern coast of the imperial province of Rosaria. Following the fall of, or is it Rosar Rosaria, right? I don't, it's going to take me a while to get back into the, all this stuff. <laughs> Following the fall of Rosaria to imperial rule, the city became a stronghold of the Western Garrison. Its gates closed to native Rosarians seeking shelter from the chaos enveloping the world beyond its walls. However, with the collapse of the Empire and the withdrawal of the Garrison, Port Isolde has reverted to local rule. The Sellswords and Lord Byron's employ ensuring her gates remain open to refugees, yet closed to those who would usher the outside chaos within. So, these are like updated, right? The Mother Crystals, enormous glassy mountains that once towered over the lands of Valistia, providing the crystal 
that the people of the twins relied upon in their everyday lives. While at the same time leeching Aether from the Earth, Clive and Joshua learned that they were planted here by Ultima for that very purpose, that the creature might accumulate enough Aether to cast a supremely powerful spell, one that would remake the world. Okay, and then as far as we go to world map... And they want us at port is sold and we can just travel there. Okay. Slow down! Not bloody likely! Fuck me! They're fast on their feet! Well, they don't have all What's that armor weighing them down. What indeed? Let's ask. Well, that was an interesting welcome. The Silken Strand. You have reached a pivotal moment. If you continue, you will not be able to return. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. What he saw, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. Mm. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every traitor who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why? You're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword handy. It's more than dodgy traders playing the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Okay, let's try to remember how to fight here. Because I don't remember. Alright, so we get into a fight. Looks like R2 ignition. Boom. Oh, okay, that was. didn't last very long. Ignition bolt. Okay, I'm gonna need more fights than that. How do I do blind justice? Oh, that's a potion. I don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. This is jump. Wee! Wee! And then to switch. Ah. 
take Giga Flare off. <laughs> I think I, I put it on for the final boss, but I'm not sure if I want it right now. now how do we use our let's see is it like maybe it's l3 and r3 or something to use our special mode we like transform or something let's see yep it's like in god of war okay i think i remember for the most part Good enough. Probably turn that off now. they made was that you don't need to manually sick Torgal on enemies anymore okay well good because I never I never really used him for that anyways <laughs> And then don't you get some kind of combo or something? Down thrust, attack and jump while in the air. Where are they? Still some distance ahead, I'd wager. They were making a good pace. actually look at our I want to keep diamond dust right now well maybe I do I don't know what other abilities did I like using I'll drive oh you know what I loved this lightning rod thing that was my favorite giga flare let's put 
Instead of Giga Flare, let's put Upheaval for now. And then I think the rest is good the way it is. I'll keep. Okay, we'll me we might mess with it later. Justice Block Hold snap. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm I'm scared when we get to the boss fights. <laughs> I'm probably gonna fail. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me. But did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them, they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old hill docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Come on. Oops. I didn't know he was going to start talking. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. Okay. Uh, I gotta take a break because Hasbondo's calling me again and it's been an hour, over an hour anyways. So I'll be right back and then we will uh, continue. All right, so where were we? What were we doing? Let's go. Let's get these guys. Old Hill. Whoop. I guess. Okay. All right. I think we might be okay. We might be fine. We might not die too much. Turn the whole place upside down if you have to. Here he is somewhere. So the bandits haven't found them either. There's still time.
Search for the traitors. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We got a pet Torgal. Fetch. We gotta play with Torgal. Yeah. Whoops. Also, we want to <laughs> attack Torgal, apparently. Yeah. Oh, look at dead tail go. All right, let's find these traitors. Sorry. Sorry, traitors. And over those crystals. Sorry, I don't have any crystals for you. Oh, well, you know. Just a guy. Doing stuff. Brother. You're right. Let's focus on finding the traitors. I want to open this chest. Can I open this chest? Can I open this chest? Ah. Where'd the chest? Oh, it's over here. Demon teamers. I got some kind of equipment. Okay. my fire thing but i guess not just stick them stick them all of you eh these guys at huh Chief, they found us. Oh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crystal. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but <laughs> we're not thieves. Over here, I can smell the one who shat himself. Um, if you've got a plan, Chief, tell us you've got a plan. Of course I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <sighs> so 
Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground. Quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Do let us know if you need any more help. <laughs> yes, you've been quite helpful. They won't get far, Clive. No, but they'll wish they had. I'll carve you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking dog! Kind of you to think of him. Yeah, that's the thing that I was trying to do magic first. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember how it works. There we go. Anyways, I think it's just better to just do my other stuff though. You can do this. Get a bunch of them in it. <laughs> Dang, Clive, ow. Oh, I have a lock on. Look at that. Wow. Would you look at that? Okay, yeah. Oh, live, go. Thank you, thank you. We did some stuff. Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. I saw a chest. After them. Somewhere. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. Oh, wait, wait, we got a pet, Torgal. Get it, boy! Nummy nummies. Catch her already. There was something odd about those three. They seem less like merchants, more like charlatans. One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his mother. Then why am I not amused? I seem to remember having a distaste for things in the air. I need the uh, the grab thing. Oh, I have blind justice. Oh, they're dead already. I have the Garuda grab I could equip if I want to. That thing was always fun. I don't remember exactly how this works. Hey. Oh, 
do 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 What did he find, boy? Aw, they dropped their stuff. Clive, judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits. <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. See, ooh, we have new stuff we can read. The Imperial, Imperial Province of Rosaria, a nation formerly known as the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm. While Rosaria has been a vassal state of the Empire for nigh on two decades, the uprising in Twinside, led by Prince Dion Lesage and his loyal dragoons, and subsequent death of both Holy Emperor and Empress in the year 1878 has left Sanbrek with barely the wherewithal to rule itself, rendering the erstwhile dukedom a subject of the Empire in name and little else. Famiel, the leader of a trio who appear to be involved in the Dark Crystal trade, any attempt at identifying him is stimmied by his hempen hood. Crystal, one of the most valuable materials known to mankind, thanks to its ability to channel ambient ether from the air, allowing those without an innate power to do so to cast magics. After Ultima cast Primogenesis and the skies over Valisthea darkened, the unbalance in the ether rendered many shards unusable and all but ended the lar guess of nations in sharing what shards remained with their populaces. Yet such was the people's reliance on crystals that they looked to other, less reputable means of securing them. We're learning. We're not alone. They wouldn't risk stopping a mouth at rest, would they? What did they hope to pass on notice? Then we better stick to the swamps. Chocobo or something? Wasn't that a thing that I could do? Or is that only in certain areas? Let's see. Chocobo, hold, R3. the wind there we go now we're talking but torgal doesn't get his own chocobo how come red 13 gets his own chocobo but torgal doesn't get his own chocobo that's kind of messed up i see our our guys up here then think again Every time they think they're in the clear, Clive comes knocking. Fuck. Persistent bastards, I'll give him that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. But of Friends? course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us? Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd needs a wolf straight to you? Oh, 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 oh. Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well... That's new. That's impossible. 
Uh, yeah, Chief. Do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. <laughs> ah. And what would they find there if they did? So that's where. I I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Okay. Oh. Our first tough fight in the DLC? Wait, don't you dare! <laughs> I wouldn't stick around either if I were them. Probably not. Let them run then. I have an idea where they'll be heading anyway. This shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna lock onto it. Oh, whatever. A bit better, a little bit sloppy. Well, that was ill timed, but at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. You don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? 
When they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labeled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there, like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to East Pool and make our approach from the Dim. East Pool, huh? Okay. To think there could have been a Mother Crystal here in Rosaria all this time. The wars that could have been avoided. We still don't know what's in there, Clive. But, whatever it is, there is a good reason it has gone unnoticed for so long. The tower sits atop a jagged ridge. Few have ever had occasion to pick their way through the rocks, even before the Blight swallowed them. Alright, so... We could just go to... Let's go to East Pool. Hey, Honka! The epic voices are back. Yes. Especially Clive. Hi, Wade. Good to see ya. Gotta go, though. Okay, so let me see. Um, are there merchants? There's a merchant around here, right? How do I find merchants? remember how to do anything in this game but I could use a, a few more potions probably maybe there's there, is there not one here none here oh okay that's it Eyes forward and spike. That's okay. Shouldn't we? At we don't need it. Them? We'll be fine. I had potions when I started. I just I just used some on the way here. using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic, right. No magic. They're even uglier up close. No magic. Okay. You're right. I'll manage. Well, it's a lot less fun to fight without any magic. Stay. 
That's kind of fun, though. Yay, we win. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Joe? You may want to see this. What? It was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. It's silly for them to leave the door open after everything that's happened. The Sage Spire. Guess that's where we're headed. I don't believe we've been here before. It seems somebody's woken this place up. Have we? The question is... Who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. I don't think that was someone. I think it was the tower. Either way, it doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Reminds me of like, I don't know, a place we, we would visit in like a FromSoft game. Really cool looking. Intruder level 48. Alert. What level are we? 48. Okay. Well, that alert. works out. Oh boy. 
I can't pet you right now? That's so lame. Okay, later. I'll pet you later. Some opponents will cast the spell Hearth Flame to summon a magic magic spear that protects a nearby ally by dealing damage to any who come in contact with it. Enemies accompanied by a Hearth Flame can be identified by the uh, six icon above their heads. The spear can be dispelled by attacking it, but be warned: melee strikes of the spear will deal Clive damage, so ranged spells are recommended. More goblins. Okay. So now we know where they got their weapons. That guy was kind of tough. Dusk crystals everywhere. Well, that's one mystery solved. But there's no mother crystal. Yet. Not yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. Right, because these crystals have to come from a larger source, right? Oh good, I need potions. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Here we go again. These crazy guys. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, look who it is. Am I allowed to be afraid right now? I'm guessing I have to be the one to dispose of this thing. systems engaged initiating sterilization lockdown what the hell is he talking about joshua oh good hey. things lots good things Watch this happen. Oh! Uh, Clive, maybe you want to use your iconic powers to for the, the greater good? We're about to witness a murder. Oh, thank you, hey. finally. Over here. Take your friend and get out of this place. Now.
this is not good. happened well, we got a checkpoint oh god I'm just getting hit again I didn't get a chance to use them. Okay, this time we got it. He does a lot of damage. Too slow.
let him. <laughs> we got living tissue. Oh, yay. Fallen Enforcer. We should check our, our weapons, huh? We got some new stuff with the DLC, and I didn't even check. Yeah. Security Sentinel 503 offline. Man, rusty as fuck, Initiating but we did it. Emergency call relocation protocol. Feels good if to I get those better, perfect blocks I'd say that was and stuff. The heart of a mother crystal. That's the mother crystal? The heart of the mother. Oh, the heart of the crystal. I knew that fallen thing was no match for you. Allow me to apologize for earlier. That was, uh, mm -hmm. ill played. Mm -hmm. All born of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? We don't need your apologies. We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. As you've Please. probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Oh, really? Is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Have they now? To these ruins in particular? Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us. Told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place to make their own, uh, mother crystal. Believe it or not, Though, that's what we thought was happening. Searching, <laughs> all we ever found was shards. Then, Harpocrates was right. It would seem that the Fallen did indeed acquire the gods' ability to craft crystals. I wouldn't go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. They're not even what you'd call decent. They're trash. But they're better than nothing. And nothing is what our people had before we found them. So we've been coming here ever since. But these dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. Once they went dark, the crystals started growing back till there were more than you could count. And with the mothers all cracked, anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes, at a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. And it cannot continue. No, it cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. So let's do what must be done. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Oh, I think there's a good chance we are. But, uh, what about... What about the tower's defenses? That thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice. Yep, so. Which I suggest you take. Toodaloo. Before someone gets hurt. Seems like a good time to take another break. And then we'll keep going from there. How does the saving work in this game again? Can you just save whenever? Looks like we can. All right, cool. We did that. 
Mm hmm Well, yeah. Hold on a second. So we have... Oh, look at We have some upgrades. Fallen Enforcer, 390 damage. Kurtana is not an upgrade. Neither is the Buster Sword, but we could at least take a look at it, right? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's so fun. It's got materia in it and everything. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a downgrade. Onion sword. So we could do the fallen enforcer. That's, that's a pretty big upgrade from what we had. And then belts. Okay. And then we're wearing Shiva's kiss. Reduces diamond dust cooldown. We're wearing... Oh, hold on. That's one. We're wearing Favor of the Earth, which will help with our wind up. Okay. Damage. That's good. And Berserker uh, Ring temporarily increases attack proficiency with each precision dodge. Okay. We'll keep those. Those seem good. Oh, you know what would be a good idea to do right now? Let's check our ETLs. Oh yeah, we got stuff. The Sage Spire. After centuries of slumber, the Sage Spire has awoken, albeit for reasons unknown. An early survey of its interior suggests the tower is indeed the source of the realm's dust crystals, the specimens seemingly growing from the walls in large uncontrolled clusters. Also identified is what appears to be a crystalline heart, set high upon a central dais. Most disturbingly, however, the tower seems to exhibit a manner of sentience, reacting to those who cross the tower's threshold and speaking to them in a language that is both at once uncomfortably f uh, similar and utterly foreign. Man-made heart, the heart of the artificial mother crystal that sleeps within the sage spire. It closely resembles the hearts of the true mother crystals, although the fallen chose to keep theirs inside some manner of magic tech shielding system. Until, that is, Clive and his allies came too close for comfort and the tower's intelligence ordered it evacuated to an inner chamber. Yes, dust crystals. The uh, shadowy shards that line the walls of the sage spire. Famiel and his associates have long mined these crystals to provide for their people. The sudden outgrowth that accompanied the darkening of the skies provided a bounteous yield that they elected to sell for profit. Their close resemblance to those shards that make up the mother crystals suggests that they too are linked to a heart, one that sleeps somewhere within the tower. Alec. One of... Famiel's familiars, alongside Marnik, engaged in mining shards of dust crystal from the Magitek Mother Crystal. His natural nervousness is exacerbated by the perilous situations to which his chief is wont to expose him. Famiel, the leader of the dust crystal miners, he and his associates, Halleck and Marnik, have long been visiting the Sage Spire to claim for their own the bounty of the magic tech mother crystal that sleeps within. The awakening of the skies brought with it a sudden efflorescence of crystal, which the miners sought to take advantage of by trading their excess yield on the black market. Marnik, one of Famiel's familiars, alongside Halleck, engaged in mining shards of dust crystals from the magic tech mother crystal, being strong of you and sunny of spirit, he finds himself well suited to physical tasks, and a good thing too, for those in Famiel's employ often find themselves having to run for their lives at a moment's notice. Yes, 